How's it going everybody? It is Colossalus here. Welcome back to another Heroes of the Storm video. Let me just pull up my notes. There we are. Next two videos are going to be super exciting just because we have two stealthies on our radar. We have Zeratul and Nova. Both of those have a trait which is called Permanent Cloak. They can go invisible uh, after three seconds of not taking damage to casting abilities, so certain abilities. Uh, because certain uh, certain abilities actually do not decloak you, and when not basic attacking. Why am I saying this when it said invisible? Uh, why they said in quotes? Well, it's not hundred percent invisible. You're not you're not going to be like Tassadar when he goes into his uh, face shift. His, no, it's not called face shift. It's called dimensional shift, I think, or something like that. It is going to be more like they go see through, but you can still see the shimmer when they walk. You can still see the the outline kind of of the character. It's not easy to see, but if you look closely, you're definitely going to see it. I think the hardest map to really see a stealthy is uh, is actually Garden of Terror during the night, night phase, just because everything gets darker and it's actually much much harder to see anything. Um, today we will be taking a look at Zerto. A lot of people who Play Zert, who played Zeratul before the rework said that he did, he wasn't in the need of one. He was just he was in a good spot. He was a solo pick against squishy backlines, and his win rate was just bad just because of lower tiers of play. People just don't didn't, didn't know how to utilize his talents, abilities, and playstyle. Uh, Blizzard thought differently. They th they basically think they need they he needs a rework, and they did it. They pulled the trigger. Everything was no. I won't say everything, but most things were changed. I don't think none of, it, none of his core... I think his health was increased by a little bit. But other than that, his core kind of mechanics, health, attack damage, nothing was changed. Um, honestly, his playstyle did not change at all. It's still the same, kind of creep up to an enemy, deal your damage, and then blink away when the danger closes in on you. It's actually very hard to play Zeratul right now in the quick matches because of the amount of variants that there are. Variants ha has a very, very good uh, engage with a stun. When he stuns you and then there's there's a follow-up after that, pff, oh boy, you're in a lot of trouble, If you, even if you have a blink uh, available to you. Um, major changes you, you want to note though is that he, he gets his mobility qu uh, easier and quicker. Uh, he used to get a level 13, now he gets at level 7. And also, um, one important thing that they split, just how it is with Nova, they split the talents into these tiers, into these categories. So, for example, let's say level 4, I'm going to show you. Level 4, let's say, it's all about dealing damage, it's all about increasing your damage, whereas level 7 is all about your mobility. Level 13 is all about survivability. Level 16 is damage again. So, you cannot just spec 100% damage, but there are just a different ways to approach your mobility, your utility, and your damage and survivability. So it's interesting that way. Uh, his auto attack build is the most prevalent. We're gonna go for that and showcase it off, see how it works, and let's jump straight in. I serve. Alright boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Tomb of the Spider Queen, one of my favorite maps still on the rotation. Before Blizzard uh, implements the rotations of maps, which is gonna be cool. I'm actually looking forward to that. I don't want to be playing, you know, basically every like, different map every single game. Uh, Warple Blade will be our choice at level 1. What allows me to do when I activate my one ability, I can activate to teleport to last non-structure target uh, attacked or attacked by the way within three seconds. So if I, let's say for example I attack Kerrigan who's here, I can move away and then bam, or she can just start uh, start making her way away, and I can activate my one to activate back to teleport back to her. My Q ability is cold cleave that it, when I activate it is just a little bit of AOE damage uh, in that radius. W is a singularity spike, is this skill shot in front of us that. Um, so I'm gonna try to shoot it here. And report I AFK, dude, like he, he wasn't even AFK. God damn, we have three middle. Yeah, so you shoot it, you attach it to somebody, and after one second it explodes, dealing damage. So I wanna try to do what Zerto is supposed to do. There we go, good job. I'm supposed to just set up kills. Just honestly, that's what I'm supposed to do. Um, 
yeah, so that's Singularity Spike. It deals a little bit of damage after it explodes and also slows down targets for 40%, which is actually quite a nice slow for you know, for just a level 1 ability, right? Uh, which is not uh, which is not increased in any way. And then, level, uh, and then our E ability is called uh, Blink. It allows us to teleport to a certain area. Um, it's very good for disengaging. I really want to kill this guy. Oh, that shield just, just, it just saved them. It just saved them. I don't understand why I don't, don't have the, uh, the crown right now, but okay, whatever. I'm gonna go up to the, to, to the middle lane, try to maybe harass this Chromia. Honestly, I should be one of the best characters at uh, assassinating such targets. Chromi, Li Meng should be my, my prime target. I don't know what it is. Good. And that's exactly what, what you want to do. That's your playstyle for uh, level 1 up to level 7. You want to be engaging with on your feet. So basically, again, he's right here. Engaging on my feet, staying close to him, applying all my damage, and then just, just blinking away if I need to. If I don't, I, just, I can just walk away. Honestly, Malfeudon is not going to be too big of a threat. But what I can do here is just do a little bit of damage. When the bone prison is going to pop, I, I'm going to just blink away. To safety. Level four, we're going to go for some more damage. Combo slash is going to be our follow through kind of a kind of ability. Um, this small fury is again a little bit out of position. Very nice, very nice. Just do a little bit more damage. Um, honestly, I don't really see too much reason in paying at the moment. Dude, the shields from the Zarya are just so good. I won't be able to kill anybody almost. Right, I'm gonna pay it. Right. Liming is annoying. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to kill her. Where is she though? Hello, Liming. Hello, Liming. Here you go, Liming. Oh, one more auto attack would have been able to pick up a kill. God damn it. Yeah, so again, that's your basically your playstyle. You want to get in, try to deal your damage, and then when uh, when you know when there's a lot of uh, I don't know like danger coming towards you, or maybe a lot of burst, you want to. I think I'm dead still. Actually, no, no, there was no follow up. That's fine. I'm gonna go back with it. I'm gonna go back. <clears throat> Yeah, so again, and if there's a lot of danger your way, if there's a lot of CC, you see it coming, you just see it in your eyes and you're afraid for your life, you're going to use Blink uh, to disengage. I, way, I see way too many um, people using uh, Blink to engage and then they're just stuck there with, with a dick in their hands and, you know, they, they can't do anything. They can't disengage, they can't do anything. Um, Small Fury is chasing way too much, so I'm going to come in here and do, do some of that damage. And then as soon as I can, I'm going to Blink away gonna allow me to uh, kind of avoid a lot of damage now these guys are trying to disengage I don't want to get okay the chromie was actually alone she was singled out somewhere okay she's back with the team now I'm gonna get caught by the time trap what is he doing right now I'm just having fun with it with this uh, with this zoo. All right, what we're gonna do is pick up wormhole. Wormhole is gonna allow me to do some interesting stuff like this. Deal all my damage and then blink away. What I want me to do is is uh, when I reactivate blink after two seconds, up to two seconds, I can reactivate it. It puts me back to my original location. Again, deal my damage and then just blink away uh, when there's a lot of damage coming away my way. I'm waiting kind of for my blink to come cool down. Now my blink is not here, so I'm just gonna wait up until that happens. Um, so again, your playstyle kind of changes after level seven. You, you're, you can actually use your your uh, blink to engage now, and you can uh, you can just kind of poke away at the enemy. So. Do a lot of damage to that uh, Chromie, and you can see she's super low. Uh, the damage is not going to stick just because they have Malfurion on their team, right? So it's not going to be as good. 
There we go. There we go. That's what we, exactly what we want to do. That's exactly what we want to do. Uh, I'm definitely not using my um, Whirlpool Blade as much as I wanted to. Just be careful. Just get out of there. It's fine. I'm just going to try to soak this a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm using, not using my Whirlpool Blade too much right now. Um, I could be using it, but uh, I just, I don't know. I only recently started to use it, so I'm still learning how, what, what are the best uses for it, basically. Right, so we're gonna get those get those guys. I think we're gonna get them turned in, actually. Turn is much more important here. Um, that Chromie wants to poke. She can poke all she wants. Alright, we're gonna get some more damage. Uh, that was actually a bad damage prioritization by me right there. I don't have mana for anything, but we do, we do pick up a kill on Zul. Which is nice. Uh, you, you see that Chromie up in the top lane? I'm going for her. Like, I should not be here, I should not be dealing with this. I should be dealing with the Chromie who's all alone up in the top lane. She still doesn't have the temporal loop. And she is super out of position. Right, she's gonna be, she, will, it'll be, she will be able to get out of there just because I didn't have mana. If I had mana, dude, I, that Chromie would have been history. She had them in history for days, right? I definitely don't want to be, get killed by her though uh, right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back. I'm really thinking about here. I think I'm gonna go Void Person. I really want to lock down uh, maybe their healer, uh, so he cannot uh, really um, heal up my damage or just you know, just singling out an enemy from a team fight is really strong, right? It's super strong. So when I when I single out, for example, let's say I Void Person two people and. Let's say I leave uh, Chromie and Li Ming open, you know? They are very susceptible to damage if they do not have a healer with them. Let's clear up this wave. Uh, honestly, Cleave is one of the best wave players in the game right now. Besides Zo, of course. I'm gonna try to, tr I'm gonna try to turn in. Let's try to turn. There we go. We are able to turn and get the first objective of the game. Uh, Zarya is kind of circling around. What's going on here? There we go. Able to get a triple kill just from because everybody when I blinked in, every uh, when I actually engaged, uh, everybody was focused on me. I really want to get that kill. Oh my god, so close. So close. Wait, can I get some of your shields? Again, you can see I'm dealing uh, half of her health with just the, you know the, my initial combo. It's not going to do a lot, this, uh, this thing right here. Okay, okay. There we go! <laughs> Blinking over the wall, coming back with a wormhole. Doing place, boys and grills, securing kill on that Chromie. All right, let's get out of there. Let's get out. Of there. It's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's back. It's back. Jaina, it's back. Manning strikes level uh, level thirteen. Gonna allow me to uh, actually return forty percent of the damage I deal with on basic basic attacks as health. She's she's alone. She is dead. I think. Get out. Alright, if she wants to die, fuck it, I don't care. I already used my VP. I I already used my VP. Yeah, just go back, baby. Go back. Going back for mana? Honestly, our, our only our only limiting factor, honestly, when playing Zeratil right now, it's not it's not gonna be our health with mending strikes, it's not going to be um, you know, any of our abilities, kind of like, uh, uh, any trade-offs from our talents. It's honestly only to be only going to be mana. Uh, we have 74 uh, stashed in our pockets, so we should definitely turn them in. Not sure what Ariel's doing right there. I don't know, she's staring at the wall or something? <sighs> we're doing a great job right now. We're doing a great job. Uh, I feel like we're engaging on the Chromie. We're engaging on the Li Ming. Again, Li Ming is right here. She's dead as fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what she was doing. I'm not sure what she was thinking. Let's 
That's not gonna do too much. Uh, I, I, wa I don't want to be seen here, though. Hello. Nice double kill. And that temple is gonna achieve nothing at all. And yeah, so let's talk about the changes, shall we? I actually have them here. So first of all, his mobility comes much earlier, right? His mobility... Oh, I actually missed that one half back, but it's still okay. It's still okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out for the damage. Um, yeah, so his mobility comes in a level 7 now, and it used to be a level 13. Oh my god, again, just the damage, just, oh, just a little bit of the damage is not coming through. Uh, yeah, let's back, they're only level 12, we, we can't finish this. Uh, Master Worldblade level 16 is going to allow me to deal much more damage to to a target if I... Um, if I have three consecutive hits on them, I'm not gonna engage on this. This Jaina just doesn't know when this. Oh, she's dead. Okay, just leave her. Just leave her. Wait, just leave her. Make her pay. Make her pay. But don't pay yourself, please, baby. All right, let's get out of there. We're fine. Actually, Zarya and our Ariel are in the bottom lane. God damn it! Why did they want to die so much? I, I, I don't know. Let's blink out. Why are we going into the into the thing? Yes! Very nice. Very nice singularity spike is going to secure the damage. I'm gonna try to take yeah, I take the damage. It's fine, just back. God damn it. Can we know can we don't know when to back? Come on guys. Let's just back, it's fine. We can do like we can do our camps and shit and stuff. Like I would kill her, but I don't have mana right now. Maybe can you give me okay you're not playing uh, Malfurion. I still wanna kill her. <laughs> it's back. Yeah, so you know, as you saw there, Warp Blade. Warp Blade. <laughs> I thought she's gonna hit me with that. And Warp Blade allows, allows us to just close gap like that. She uses, you know, she uses her to teleport, and I don't have to use my blink. I I just use my Warp Blade to get to her, deal that final damage, and kill her. Yeah, so he again gets his mobility much quicker. Uh, all generic talents have been removed, or replaced by a corresponding kind of you know similar uh, similar talents. I'm not there, baby, but we're still we're still doing it. We're still we're still living the dream. Still killing the peoples. That's good. Um, and then also he doesn't he doesn't have sustain anymore. He doesn't have uh, like you know he doesn't have the region master anymore. Hey, be careful. Why am I so slow? Oh, it's probably the. Nice kill. Oh yeah, let's go back, let's go back, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that with the else. I'm actually gonna stay. Because I'm a greedy motherfucker! I'm gonna kill Krami, because I like that. Because I like that a lot. Where is she going? Is she gonna go back here? I really hope she's gonna come back here with half health. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, dude, she's dead as fuck. Oh my god. Ooh! It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of deeps in here. Don't hit me. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she has a, she has the um, unstoppable. She has unstoppable on her, um, on her personal shield. Uh, yeah, so he doesn't have a regeneration master anymore. Uh, his sustain comes in at level 13 only. Oh, that was so greedy of me. I was so greedy, but I didn't pay for it. I think it's gonna be game, actually. Yeah, let's just finish the game. GG. Yeah, so he doesn't get regeneration in Master anymore. He only gets Mending Strikes at level 13. That's the main change about his... Um, Level 13 talent, uh, level 13, o overall just sustain through the team fights. Honestly, on this map it doesn't matter because uh, I feel like Regeneration Master wouldn't have been that useful. 
because the just the map is really small, so your rotations aren't to be as aren't to go aren't, aren't going to be as long as they would <clears throat> on certain maps like Cursed Hollow, like maybe Braxis Holdout even. Uh, good job, babe. Um, so you will see much more going back to base with no region master. Only after level 13 you can actually sustain through certain engagements like I did there. I was able to kind of, maybe I'll sustain through the burst damage the enemy team was doing, but I was kind of, I was able to stay a little bit longer in the fight. Um, his mama on the, hand, on the other hand is not too bad now. Uh, some of his, t some of his um, t uh, ability costs were reduced and, and I think Singularity Spike was increased and his blink was reduced. They wanted to really incentivize you to use your mobility more than your damage. Um, they, want you, they want your damage to be on point, but your mobility you can kind of mess up sometimes. I think they want to, I think they want his mobility to be a little bit more forgiving than it was. Uh, so his blink does cost 50 now, I believe. Let me just check, okay, that was a good game. Let's see here. Do seven kills, no death, so it's good. I enjoyed it, definitely enjoyed it. Uh, I was going to check. Uh, yeah, so this this is eighty mana now. This is like burns through your mana like crazy, and uh, I think they used to be swapped around. I think this this was like seventy. Don't quote me on that though. But this was this cost more, and this cost like no mana. Now it's the other way around. So let's go over the build again. I actually just want to touch upon one more thing. His place in the meta. His place in the meta is very solid. He's there to blow up squishies. He's there to deal the poke damage. He is there to take and he's not he's not cc'd not stunned not silenced on our polymorphed he is there to just be an a pain in the ass the enemy uh, he's able to wormhole like with the wormhole he's just able to do so much damage which if for example the healer is not present in a certain lane he's able to just deal unmitigated damage to a certain hero, which is which is going to stick. What I mean by it's going to stick, it's not going to be healed up by anything, besides, of course, globes and stuff like that. So it's, he's also very good at, at um, denying those. He's very good at denying globes uh, by just being in a lane. Let's say Jaina's soloing a lane, or maybe, let's say, Thrall or Alarak are uh, in the lane. Probably Alarak is it's not bad against Zeratul, but if you're skilled at Zeratul, you'll be able to... Deal your damage and then get away with very little sustain to him, and your damage is still going to stick. So, yeah, so that's his place in the meta, blowing up squishies, being annoying, just being a distraction most of the time. Um, sometimes you're gonna, you're gonna blink into the fight, deal so much damage that you're gonna take so much uh, of uh, of the attention of the enemy team away from your friendly team that your team will be just able to just wipe up, wipe up the entire team, just because you're gonna get focused. Even even if you die. The rest of the team is just going to die for it, which is which is always good. Uh, let's go over the build again. Warhol Blade, very good against like Li Ming, Tracer. Let's say you attack, you auto attack Tracer. She's really scared of you. She blinked three times. Uh, she teleported. She dashed three times. Uh, you can just press Warhol Blade and you're right back where she is. You're right in her face, just dealing more damage. Um, really good again against that Li Ming. Um, she thought she was safe. She blinked away. I kind of went the other direction and bam, I pressed the Whirlpool Blade, closed the gap, and I was able to kill her. Very good. Um, I still haven't tried the Shadow Hunter. I really want to see how that works. Um, Shadow Hunter with the slip into shadows might be okay, might be pretty strong, but we're going to see how that goes. So Whirlpool Blade level 1, level 4, we're going Combo Slash, which is kind of a um, follow through. I think, I think follow through comes in at level 7. In every other character, so you're gonna get a nice burst of a uh, nice burst of damage earlier than other uh, melee assassins, which is obviously pretty goddamn good. Um, so again, you can you can see this kind of pattern of utility, damage, mobility, survivability, damage, and then yeah, just just overall different things. So it's kind of similar to how Nova works now, how her skill tree works. Uh, level seven, we did go for wormhole, which just allows you to be uh, just annoy, just annoy the crap out of the enemy. Um, slip into shadows. A lot of people were excited about this because it gives you an additional charge of your blink, but the the cooldown, on the other hand, is increased by eight seconds. So the cooldown is already pretty uh, pretty hefty. It's already ten second cooldown, and you put it almost on a twenty second cooldown. Your mobility, your only mobility, by the way. 
Uh, not sure. Not, not sure how that how that's gonna work. Maybe with the better with the already finished quest on Shadow Hunter again, that might be good because you'll be reducing the your basic attacks will reduce the cooldown of your blink by zero point seven five seconds. So might not be bad. But again, wormhole should be your think your your main choice. You blink in, you deal damage, and you blink out again. You just have to be careful to time it all right because it's only two seconds. If you're outside that three seconds and you push yourself literally really out of position, you're dead. So just practice that. So I would actually go into try mode. Go into try mode, blink into the range of the of the dummy, deal your damage, and then blink out, and do the same. And then uh, and then once you once you can deal your damage with your Q Q uh, QW, you can try to weave in one basic attack in there as well. So you do the Q, wait for the basic attack and W, and then you blink out again. So again, it's just you know getting down the timing. Um, I think I've only messed it up once, and it didn't actually bite me in the ass, which I'm happy about. Uh, level 10, I did go for the Void Person, trying to shut down a certain... There's just so many plays with this. You can disable buildings, you can save your core from, from shots, you can... Um, split the enemy team maybe split away a medic and let's let's say a healer and one damage dealer and then the enemy team is left in a 3v5 it's really strong you can actually shut down and it's very similar to how um how maw works the devouring maw from zagara it's just kind of but it's really instant like there's no this wind up time where the where the maw just closes enemies there's just instant it just pops out of course the range is not as good as it used to be but still if you cloaked and you engage from the let's say from the side, you'll be able to maybe close out some people with the, in the void present, then blink into the fight in the three v five, and then take care of the two that were closed five seconds after. It basically traps targets in an area. Uh, it's not going to affect you, just your friendlies and your uh, enemies for five seconds. Um, level thirteen, we did go for mending strike, just kind of further. Go further, kind of uh, synergizing with our build, you know, from the combo combo slash. Um, many strikes will allow you to heal for forty percent of your damage dealt, which is just crazy. When you th when you think about it, you're dealing about four hundred damage per um, per auto attack with uh, with the uh, with the follow through. So you'll be returning like hundred and eighty health per per strike or hundred health if it's just a normal basic attack. And then we further increase our damage by picking up Master, master World Plate. This, this kind of requires you to master status stepping. I still don't have a video about that. I'm still learning it myself. I used to do it with the, with the A key, but A key attacks the closest target to you. And that's not always the case when you're trying to chase an enemy hero. Most of the time, what you want to do is you want to click away from the hero and then click back. Click away, click back. Click away, click back. That's how you want to do it. Uh, so I'm, I'm just learning this right now. I used to do click away. A click away a click away a so of course you you're not gonna be always the closest to the hero you want to attack you, there may, might be some minions in the way or something like that so I'm just trying to get this timing right which is always nice um, and if you master this boy you'll be able to do 700 800 uh, damage per auto attack Every th of course, every third basic attack because it's uh, th every third consecutive attack to the same target will be dealing additional damage. And then, if you're dealing like 700 damage, that's already like 300 uh, damage going back to you as health. Which honestly, at level 20, should be like you yes, should be like, but uh, just quite a big chunk of your health back to you. At level 20, I probably would have went for Nexus Blades. If you're really skilled Zelda player, you want to go for Rewind, right? You want to have twice the blink, twice the damage. Um, and other utility, but when it comes to uh, just just having fun, uh, especially for me, just having fun, just learning the character, I probably would have went for Nexus Blade, just kind of further increasing our damage of our basic attacks, um, allowing us to stick to targets even more with uh, with the movement speed decrease for one second, and it's just, just super good. Um, Gift of the Gift of Zelnaga. This used to only. Um, Exclude allies. Now it add, now it adds a fifty percent slow, which is actually pretty pretty strong. A fifty percent slow for three seconds. I'm not sure how good this is. I, I'm gonna have to try uh, maybe with a uh, with a uh, um, kind of organized composition. But yeah. So if you're skilled, um, and obviously I did pick up rewind a few times. I like it. It's just a lot of fun. But I just feel like you know just to make my my um, time even even more fun. Uh, you know. 
when I use rewind, I kind of uh, I'm kind of like shit. Should I should I rewind it there, or should I, should I just rewind it for some more additional damage, or should I just rewind after that to get the escape? Rewind kind of uh, allows you to make more mistakes, right? Uh, uh, for example, let's say you blink in and you miss the wormhole, you can just you can just rewind and blink back. You just have to you just have to be careful not to wormhole back to the location where you were overextended. <laughs> I made a mistake, believe me. <laughs> uh, I learned that the hard way. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, I do stream every day. So if you're interested in Heroes of the Storm streams, I do stream Hero League or just fun quick match or unrank with my friends. But Hero League is the main theme of this, of my stream. So there'll be a description down below. Go check it out. Give me a follow. Uh, just you know, just come over and say hi. All the schedule and everything is down in the description under the stream, so you'll be able to see all the information and stuff. Other than that, I think that's it. Next one is going to be Nova. So I'll see you guys in the next one.